Hello, so in this lab, I'll show you how to run an ARM template using Azure DevOps release pipeline. So as part of the previous lab, what I've done already is I have pushed my uh, .NET application code to a Git repository or you can see your repo. And as part of the same Azure repository, I've also added the ARM template main.json file and parameters. So main.json file actually carries the logic what needs to be. This would be submitted to the ARM uh, manager, Azure resource manager, and Azure resource manager will create uh, resources by uh, reading this file. Now, uh, I have also given the uh, app service name. So, this ARM template is creating an app service specific, and I have given the app service name as WebMagic. It also has a parameter file where I can parameterize the app service plan name as well as the app service plan itself. Right now, it is a basic plan which we are creating. Now the next task is to run this ARM template as our release pipeline and the build pipeline will build would be building my .NET application over here. The application should be deployed on the resource which is resource or you can say app service which is built using the ARM template by release pipe. So let's go to the Azure uh, release pipeline and over here let's click on uh, let's create a new release pipeline. A new release pipeline, and what we are doing is would be uh, basically doing an ARM template, right? So this is I can call this stage as infrastructure as code stage. Would be building my infrastructure using the ARM template. Now, when this would be triggered, from where it will find the ARM template, all those things I need to be I need to define it basically. So over here I'll define that whenever there is a build, it should trigger. Now build of what? Build of my release pipeline, which is uh, this one. Okay. Whenever there is a build, or I can, yeah, this. Whenever there is a build over here, call it as build pipeline. And I'll enable continuous uh, integration. And also, I'll add one more artifact, which is Azure repo. That my uh, this stage, which is the infrastructure code stage, gets the artifact. Which an artifact over here it could be the ARM template. So I select my application repository. Everything is in my master branch name the alias repos and I'll add it now inside this stage I need to basically call an task okay and that task could be an ARM task I'll select this and over here I'll select my again the uh, connection the service connection uh, to my uh, subscription my subscription my subscription service connection and this is the subscription and within this subscription what we are trying to do is we are trying to create a resource group or a resource and I'll select the resource group as webmagic dev and the location of the resource uh, would be the east us and now I need to select my template okay so I need to select my template file and I'll click on this this will show me my Azure repo as an artifact. Find this. Let's select the main.json file. Let's uh, select this as the parameter file. Okay. And I can keep the deployment name as app service 8000. I can save this. And I need to add one more stage. So once the app service is created, I need to deploy on that app service. Okay, I need to deploy my .NET application on that app service. So I'll say add a new stage. And this stage would be our deployment stage. Call it as deploy stage. And it needs to basically run after or you can say after the release. Okay. Sorry, it needs to run after my uh App service is built, so I'll say after the previous stage it should trigger. Okay, and over here I'll go and I'll again select my subscription 
uh, and I'll select my app service name. Now app service is not created, but I know the app service name, which would be Webmagic Thousand. Just type the name over here manually, and I'll save this. All right. So now, if I do any change to my repository over here now, let's do a small change so that it could trigger the build pipeline. and trigger the build pipeline go to the pipeline is running this will build my dotnet application once this is done the release pipeline would get triggered name this release pipeline web applications and once the build is completed the release pipeline should Basically, trigger and first create an app service by app service on deploy the dotted application on the app service. Let's wait for this to get completed. Right, so the build is completed. Let's go through the release pipeline. Over here, the release has started and it is building my app service. So, it is finding an agent for will run the rm job so the app service is deployed if we go to the azure portal here is the uh, app service plan name and when now uh, if I go to app service there is my app service so once the app service is deployed the actual application deployment should happen and started the application and this completes the deployment of the application on the app service it browse the application URL, URL, and we see our dotted application on this. Right, so this is it for this lab, guys.